If you want to know how to make a car purchasing system like the jailbreak one, make sure to watch this video all of Twitch at the end to find out how to. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a car purchasing system like the jailbreak one. Um, what we're going to do is just make it so uh, if you don't own the car, we're going to use proximity prompts. We're going to make sure you got to buy it. And if you bought it, you can enter the car and drive around. So that's going to be very epic. Uh, today's shout out goes to this person. Um, yeah, thank you. And um, no worries. And if you want a chance to be in my video and get a shout out, just comment something nice on this video and in the next video I will screenshot it and put it in the video. Just, you, you got a small chance, I'm going to do uh, every ran every time I'm going to do a random one and I'll try not to do the same one. So um, if, you're new, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to become a member, click make sure to click the blue join button down below and it is very in the morning. So I am very tired and I do not have energy to scream or something anyways we can continue so what we're gonna be doing i want a lamborghini lamborghini i think i spelled that correct so now this is my lambo dambo why are you not loading in uh it just takes me if my internet is complete crap again okay i i see it okay so you have this lamborghini now we're gonna do. You're gonna go in it, and I think this is a correct. Yeah, it should be correct. You can you can delete the thumbnail camera. Um, actually, we're gonna get another Lambo because um, how about just car? Just car. Tesla Roadster. Let me just see. Nope. Why are all the cars crap? Is that always the case? Uh, I think this one is pretty fine. I'm gonna delete that script. Okay, so for example, you have this car now. This beautiful Lamborghini. I have no idea if it works. I'm gonna cry if it doesn't work. That's why I'm gonna test it out. What we're gonna be doing. So now, if you get a car, you can just immediately go in it and drive, which is not what you want. If my studio stops crashing. Yep. And how am I supposed to get? Yes. As you can see, you can already drive and blah, blah, blah. But that's not what you want. What you want is just that you need to buy it. Okay, logical, understandable. I'm just gonna call this Bugatti. Yes. Oh, wrong model. Oh crap. Okay, now this is your nice Lambo. This is not sponsored by uh, Bugatti, and I just said Lambo. Oh, also, shut up. Um. So now you go to the driver seat. And delete the driver script. And all you want to do is add in a script. I'm just going to close body. Miss. Yep. I just want to add in a script over here. And, uh, wait, no. You want to add in a proximity prompt. And add the script in there. To then type local prox is equal to script apparent. Local seat is equal to prox dot parent. There you go. Now you can do seat, call on get property changed signal, and then occupant, call on connect, function. So now you made just a little function <coughs> for a game. Okay. So now that you've made your function, you can do if seat dot occupant then prox dot enabled. Six to false, else prox dot enabled. Six to true. Now you can do prox dot triggered call and connect function player. And you just want to do if player dot owns Bugatti because this is a Bugatti. You can do whatever you want. If player dot owns Bugatti dot value is six to true, then Seat colon set player that character humanoid. And if you don't own it, we're just gonna do nothing. We're gonna change. The, oh, actually, we can do game replicated storage. Add in a remote event. Dot remote event colon fire client player. 
You can do that. So now uh, you want to go. To, I'm going to make a quick leader stats. Add in a script and service script service game game dot players dot player added. Clone connect function and then player and then local ls is the instance dot new folder into the player ls dot name is going to be leader stats. Now we can do ls uh, local owns Bugatti. We're gonna copy that word. Six the instance that new a bool value into the leader uh, into the player. Actually, we don't even need l we do need the leader stats. Uh, owns Bugatti that name is going to be owns Bugatti and owns Bugatti that value is going to be false. Now we can do local money it's equals to instance that new. Uh, we can do a number value into the player. Into leader stats, sorry. Money dot value. We're gonna give you zero money. And money dot name is going to be money, of course. So now that we've made this, no, go in a game. There should be a proximity prompt. Maybe not. Where's the proximity prompt? That is a little bit weird. Um. Okay, I have an idea. What do you do? You make a part. You put the proximity prompt in it. And um, you put the part in the body of the car. Actually, not in the body, but there's a lot of things. Just put it in the body. Yep. Put it right over here. Make it invisible, anchor true, can't collide false. And now all you do, instead of the seat, is going to be script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot draw parent dot drive seat, like that. And that should work. Because sometimes it's so glitchy that proximity prompts don't even show up. Which is super weird, and uh, that means you just gotta make another way to find out. Alrighty. So now if you go to it, yep, interact, and then... So we don't own it yet, so what we're gonna do... Is I am going to... Game.players.newbie.dev.leader.ownsbugatti The value is extra true. True. Now that it's true, we can enter the car and drive around. And then if you go out, of course, you're too clear. You can just go back in. Alrighty, so that works. But now you want to make it so you can purchase it. Because why do you, why, yeah. Not a logical explanation for that. Okay, so you got to start your GUI. You add in a screen GUI. You add in a frame. The frame anchor point is going to be 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.5. The position. 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0 so it's in the middle now for the size i believe job has like 200 by 100 okay that's a little bit small 350 by 200 probably yeah kind of like that add in a ui corner a text label set the size to 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 50 background transparency 1 Set the frame to color as you want. I'm going to do green because Jailbreak has green, of course, for, like, purchasing things. So, yeah. Now we can do, I don't know, uh, probably, like, purchase purchase vehicle or something. I have no idea how Jailbreak works. I do not, didn't even buy a car in the last few weeks. Um, so now I just want to add in, how about you just add in another text label? And you put the position, like, 75 do you want to buy the Bugatti well do you want to buy Bugatti for 500,000 uh, and then question mark at the end okay so that is your like text thing you can customize it as much as you want I'm gonna do cartoonish now you want added two text buttons this is going to be purchase 
and this is going to be cancel. Now set them both, select them both and set them to 100 by 40. So then anchor point is 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. And now you want to click purchase, not all of them, purchase. I just want to do 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.8 comma 0. Okay, that is a little bit incorrect. I'm going to put it to a 2. Uh, make it a 3. For cancel, you're going to do 0 0.6 comma 0 comma 0 0.8 comma 0. And it's supposed to be a 7. My bad, my apologies. Now add in a UI corner. A UI corner. Purchase is going to be green. Yeah, that That's barely going to be visible. Oops. How about I just make it darker? Like that. And of course, red for cancel. For purchase, you're going to type in purchase because purchase. And for cancel, you can just do cancel or exit. Something like that. You want to add in a local script in the screen GUI. Now I want to do a script. Uh, well, local player. It's like the game that player is of local player. And then game or script the parent the parent uh, script the parent dot frame dot purchase dot match button one click one connect function. And now I just want to do if player dot leader stats dot money dot value is above or the same as five hundred thousand. Then game the replicator storage dot remote event two add another remote event call it remote event two call off fire server player and else we're just um I don't know just, just something like well Jovan makes the frame invisible then so script the parent uh the frame the visible six to false Script the parent dot frame dot visible six to false. Um, or just script the parent dot frame dot purchase dot text is equal to not not enough, and then wait to, and then this, and then purchase just like this. Uh, now you want to do. Game dot replicate the storage dot remote event colon connect function uh, dot on server on the client event colon connect function. And all you want to type is script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equal to true, like this. So that is your purchasing script. Now we're just gonna do script dot parent dot frame dot uh, cancel dot mouse button one click colon connect function. All you want to do is script the parent that frame that visible is equals to false. We're just going to set it to false. So now you just want to make it to false over here too. So if you want to test this out, but it's not going to work. So over here, what we're going to do game that replicate a search that remote event to that on server event comma connect function. And since we know the player has, uh, well, we're just going to check it again. If player that leader stats stop money. That money dot value is is higher or the same as five hundred thousand. Then all you want to do is player dot leader stats uh, player dot owns Bugatti that value is equal to true. How about you take your money away player dot leader stats that money dot value is minus equals five hundred thousand like this and. Um, that's going to be basically it, I believe. Because all you want to do is just check if they have, uh... Should be too hard. So now, let's play. There we go. Now, if we go to it, boom. Purchase vehicle. Do you want to buy the Bugatti for 500000 Not enough. And then it goes away. Boom. If you want to buy it again, you know... Yeah, you get the point. Now we just give ourselves five hundred thousand game. The players dot newbie dot feed if the leader sends the money dot value is equal to five hundred thousand and one. Now you're like, oh yeah, boy, I want to buy this Bugatti. Purchase. Five hundred thousand goes away, 
and boom, we can enter our car. Now, that's what I call a jailbreak purchasing system. But, of course, you want a data store. To do that, you want to go to game settings. You want to go to security and enable studio access to API services. Just click save. Now, you want to continue for the data store because uh, you want the money to save, etc. So, what you want to do is local data store. This is the game called get service data store service. And now you just want to do local db database is equals to data store call and get data store and you just want to do something to your wish so i don't know just your roblox name or just my game database i'm just going to do that um so now of course you need to money to save which is um pretty logical it's not gonna be hard what i want to do is local money data and local Bugatti data, local success, comma, error message is equal to pcal function. And now you want to do money data is equal to um, db, colon, get async, player, that user id, dot dot, minus, and then money. And for Bugatti, it's going to be Bugatti data. It's db colon get async player dot user id dot dot Bugatti <clears throat> like that. If success, then mm, money dot value is equals to money data and owns Bugatti dot value sixty Bugatti data and else warn error message. Now to do this game, oh, players, a player removing, call and connect function player, and what we want to do is db colon set async player dot user id dot dot money, and we're gonna set that on player dot leader stats dot money dot value, and db colon set async player dot user id dot dot bugatti on player that owns bugatti dot value like this so that's your entire script done everything works if you did in fact uh enjoy this video i'm not gonna test the data store because i know it will work so if you did in fact enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe if you like it like it if you dislike it dislike it and uh, my name is newbie and i say peace out <laughs>